So I'll just do a quick film of the garden now, the front garden now. Um, the red robin there. Um, this is the balm of Gilead. She loves it here. Look, it's massive. It keeps going through the winter. I have to have a little bit look what I can do with the leaves. I know I can do stuff with the flowers. In fact, it's still got some flowers. So perhaps I should be collecting those. Come out and pick those later. Um, I've got this marjoram, which kind of does well here, but when it comes to the flowering, it seems to. I don't know. It's looking a bit scabby. Maybe it's just because it's fallen over. Um, right. I've got the fruit trees in here, which probably are a little bit strangled out by all these raspberries having a massive crop on the raspberries which is great I've got a few bit of fruit on these um, we need to make sure they're just kept a bit clearer for next year um, it's just mostly full of raspberries Ooh, more spiders and a bee don't get caught in the web Oh, there he is. Look, pollinating my raspberries for me. Um, I've got this, which has the berries on. I'm sure I'll get confused with the name of this. I'm sure it's Himalayan honeysuckle. These are edible. They taste a bit fig-like. They're really, really nice. So over here, I've got this lavender, which I had loads of flower heads from. I managed to cut all this bottom off and still have the top there to leave in the garden got the yarrow up the back which is getting nice and established now they will probably start harvesting from that next year the Christmas tree the Yule tree which is still alive so uh, yeah we should be able to use that again for this year uh, we've got the bee balm down here um, and the speedwell which is still nice and a really nice few um, plantain plants there. Still got this world's biggest strawberry leaf there. <laughs> um, we've got a bit more pot marigold. We've got another sage here. And this uh, acrimony, which now I know what it is. I'll be able to use it next year. A um, bit of mildew on this comfrey, which is unfortunate because I won't be able to use it now the black grass which I moved there which is offset nicely and this little fern is still doing well under here uh, the rowan which looks beautiful I'll be using a few of those I made a hedgerow jam and um, hazel which I have managed to get a few nuts off rescued them from the squirrels um, so yeah yeah all in all mostly raspberries but Quite productive in the front garden as well. I'll have a little look round at the We've got a pussy willow here. Um, and the elder and the hydrangea, which is not my favourite species of hydrangea but beautiful nonetheless.